Rose, we're live. Live for the most exciting live stream of the week. We saved the best for last. Rose is in her best outfit here with eggs and bakey. That's actually tomorrow morning's breakfast, but tonight's dinner, ooh, Lord, it's gonna be a doozy. When would you think, Rose, you'd ever turn into Daddy's Kitchen and be like, we're making burgers, cheeseburgers, we're making french fries, and we're making donuts. But here's the deal, we're gonna bobby fry it, right? We're making keto, grass-fed bone marrow burgers. We're making paleo sweet potato french fries and paleo deep fried donuts. Lord mercy, you know who's gonna miss this meal more than anyone else? That guy over there, Arthur T. Almacy in his rocket. I'm sorry, Art. <laughs> What's that smell? <laughs> it's the smell of winning. Uh, it smells like teen spirit, man. I don't know. I, I think the flannel has inspired the Nirvana thing going on in the chat room right now. The only thing that would make Art more jealous tonight is if I made that uh, tomahawk uh, ribeye. Then you, he loses. Yeah. He loses stuff, right? Burgers, fries, and donuts, that's enough to like even top that in terms of making me jealous. Exactly right. Exactly. So... That's the menu tonight. I'm going to talk about why it's so special in a couple minutes. I'm making Rose a little burger patty right now because she can't wait. Um, and I would love for you guys to do a couple things. Number one, leave a comment down below. Let us know where you watch from. This is community time. This is time to hang out. So leave a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from. Let us know what you're making for dinner. And share. Take the stream link over and share it over to Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff. Um, say hi to Desi holding hi the guys. camera right now. Desi's going to make her paleo donuts in a minute. It's actually a version of those bao buns she made the other night. Sweet. We're going to deep fry them and then put coconut, cinnamon, sugar on top. The sweet potato fries I actually made uh, Sunday of last week, so I know they're going to be bomb. And we tossed them in keto, brown sugar, smoked paprika, spice mix. And the burgers are so special. We'll get to those in a minute. we got to thank today's sponsor of the video, Thrive Market. Sponsoring the video for almost three years strong now. Everything you normally get at the grocery store, keto, paleo, non-GMO, organic, um, all that good stuff is 30%, up to 30% cheaper on Thrive Market. You don't have to go to the grocery store. They ship to your door. Down below in the descrip uh, description box, I have a promo link. When you become a yearly member, you get a $20 shopping credit, and the link takes you to my pantry bundle with 21 or so of my essential healthy pantry staples. Shipping is still a bit delayed right now, but... Uh, they're doing that so they don't overwhelm the uh, warehouse workers and they don't increase their carbon footprint too much. And really cool, if you're affected by COVID-19, financially wise or health wise, down below in the description box is a link to email them. They might be able to give you a free membership and free credit. So support Thrive Market. It's one of my favorite companies, favorite channels of the uh, favorite sponsors of the channel. And thank you guys. All right, let's get rocking on sweet tater fries. So Bobby, I had this idea that I shot down just because I didn't want the food to sit there and just like, you know, be cold and everything. But I was thinking about making a burger ahead of time uh -huh. and making the bun out of your cheddar bay biscuits. Make a really big one and have a cheddar bay biscuit bun on a burger. On Whoa. a cheeseburger. That would cheese balls on the side because D Brown told me that today is National Cheese Ball Day. Yeah, he sent me an email about that too. We got California yeah. in the house. We got Washington here. We got California. We got New York. I love it. I love it. All right, let me get Rose's uh, burger patty out. Order for Rose. Rose, honey, did you order burger? Burger well done? Here you go, my love. You need to have a little bell so you can do ding, you know, when everything's ready. Yeah, I, I see. Well, first we got to get your easy button here, right? First things the first. Diner, the, diner, the easy button's here. Just even, more, even, right? even, yeah. So what kind of burger is that, babe? Well, this is a grass-fed, dry-aged uh, bone marrow burger from a local company that I went to that uh, has really, really good nuts. stuff. Like, I know. Let me cool it down, Rose. I'm going to tell you about it because I ran out of grass-fed beef from uh, Thrive Market and I didn't have any. And these are very special burgers that uh, if you live in Chicago, I would take a trip there because it's fantastic. All right, there you go, Rose. Start going to town. Okay, back here I have some avocado oil going. It's oh, already at 371. Good. That's good, don't worry. Um, and we'll cut some sweet potato fries. Now, I had never made fried potatoes in my life, but last, I wanna say it was Sunday, we did it, right? And when you do it, I wanna make it as healthy as possible. So obviously I'm using paleo sweet potatoes, not starchy russet potatoes. And I'm going to fry it in the in class oil, which is right back there in that pot. It's avocado oil. Now, 
Avocado oil is a little more pricey, but I think it's worth it because it's a very heart healthy oil. Traditionally, people fry in like, uh, what's going on back there? Uh, I was just warming up. Oh. oh, you wanted some uh, vegetables for Rose too, right? Uh, yeah. Just a carrot in here? Yeah, throw in a carrot. And a, how about a cauliflower too? Sure. Now, normally people deep fry in vegetable oil. We talk about vegetable oil. It's basically toxic, refined, chemical laden oil. If you were going to use that kind of oil, I would highly recommend Expeller Press. But I get that big jug of avocado oil. It's a good deal. And notice how I'm not really getting too big of a pot. I'm doing more of like a small batch fry. I'm calling them artisan small batch sweet potato fries. That way I don't hand have to waste, fries. hand cut. That way I don't have to waste too much avocado oil, right? And it does take a little more time, but you got somewhere to go? Rose, you got somewhere to go? Oh, you're hungry. Someone's like, you have to get an air fryer. We do have an air fryer, but how many batches do we have to... That's the thing, guys. Fryer? I have an air fryer, but I'm making a lot of sweet potato fries, so I don't think it's feasible to be popping them in and out. Now, to be honest, I'm not getting that many in the, air, in the uh, deep fryer either. But listen, I don't fry very often deep fried. Raise your hand. Would you rather deep fry or air fry? I don't mind the extra calories because, like I said, I'm doing an avocado oil, so it's totally fine. So we're going to... I don't know if you saw earlier that uh, yeah? we had a super chat from Gina Badeau, $2. Oh, I missed... I didn't see it. Where is it? I didn't see it. I didn't see it go by here. It was... Uh, oh. It's up there. Okay. Thank you. Oh, I didn't show the time. Gina. Mon ami Gina. She's a supporter. Thank you for that. Now, as soon no, as they... a good recommendation from Taylor. Everyone, boost the quality level if your picture is yes. a little uh, fuzzy or pixelated. Absolutely. Now... There is a key to making these extra traditional fries have a lot of starch on them because they're russet potatoes. But sweet potatoes don't have that starch level. So I actually want to coat them in somewhat of a batter. That way they have some kind of texture on them. So I'm going to measure. Oh, wow. You're pounding your burger. Don't you love it? Don't you love you your burger? You're going to bust out any duck fat for these fries? Uh, that might be a little too expensive for my blood art. <laughs> I only have about like eight ounces of it. I don't have like a gallon. So I'm going to put some tapioca starch in here. You can also use arrowroot starch. And then I'm going to thin it out with some water. I'm going to make a very loose slurry. Lily, $5. Please remind me how to access your Amazon shopping list to purchase two knives you use. Ah, so, yes. My uh, now uh, my now depreciated Amazon store, thanks to Jeff Bezos. Uh, Amazon.com slash shop slash Flav City has all my kitchen gear. So one cup of that goes in, and then we'll take almost a cup of water, add that, Let's see what that looks like. And then it's a very loose batter, but it just has enough texture to coat my fries. So when they go in the batter, a nice crust will form, right? So whisk that up. Karuna Rose, thank you, $5. Oh, I see that, Karuna. You're so sweet. The box. Yeah, she always gives the, Karina gets the award for probably the best uh, emojis she uses. So guys, if you're just joining, we got 946 Flav City family members in the house. Leave a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from, what you're making for Quarantine Friday and all that good stuff. And we're making burgers. Grass-fed, dry-aged bone marrow burgers. They actually chill the bone marrow, grate it, and put it in the blend. Tons of fat, tons of flavor. Uh, we're going to make, uh, not going to make, but I have keto cauliflower thin for buns. And uh, we're going to make the fries, and Desi's going to make homemade donuts. Now, fries go in here, but I have to do small batches because I don't have that much room in the uh, fry later. So come back here. Optimal temperature would be 375. Art, right, what is this right here besides a Wuhan temperature detector? <laughs> yeah. Well, I think you answered it. It's a thermometer, laser thermometer. It's a laser, exactly. It's an infrared thermometer. I'm looking for 375 on this oil. I got it. I'm at 368. So you don't want it too much colder, otherwise it won't fry. You want this to really get golden brown. So I'm going to take my fries right here, Dusty. Now I'm trying to make this not as messy as possible. So doing this in small batches will help. The only thing about the tapioca, you guys, is that it likes to stick together, so you have to carefully drop these by hand in the uh, oil, otherwise they might clump together like that. So I'll just take three fries like that, drop them in. Yeah, Davis, $3 super chat. Oh. From Pennsylvania, hi Rose. Pennsylvania, we got the Pennsylvania Dutch Amish in the house. Assuming you're Amish, which you're probably not. <laughs> okay, 
That goes in now. I'll immediately take my spider. This is called a spider. Art was saying I needed one for the kitchen, so I got it. And then I break up the fries. That way they don't stick together too much. Now these will fry for about uh, seven minutes until deep golden brown. And then as soon as they come out, you guys, I'm gonna put them in a bowl and then dust them immediately with salt. You have to fry or season fried food when it comes out so the salt sticks to it. I'm gonna dust it with salt, sugar-free brown sugar, keto brown sugar, cumin and smoked paprika. It forms a beautiful crust. Then I'll keep it warm in my mini oven because Desi's gonna use the big oven. And we'll keep repeating. Fry, oven, repeat. Desi will make the, uh, Desi will make the uh, donuts and then we'll start making burgers. Can you use the meat thermometer for the oil? Uh, absolutely, for sure. It's just gonna be uh, a little messier, but yeah, the digital probe thermometer will give you an instant read as opposed to the thermometers you normally like clip onto the side of the pot. Can you make these fries in the air fryer? Absolutely. Yeah, just follow every step I'm doing right now and then put it in the air fryer. I'm guessing 390 for maybe 10 minutes, flipping them halfway through. Okay. Those are gonna do their thing now. Wow, Rachel Murray. Oh, Rachel, oh my God. Rachel from San Quentin, works in the prison there. She got a oh, huge flam Mac, family members and Flav City fans over there with a huge super chat. I watched the documentary, What's the Wheat? It was so amazing, so informative. It explained every one of my symptoms. I am convinced I am allergic to gluten. And Rachel emailed us actually after the stream on Wednesday. And we also found out that she started drinking black coffee as soon as the stay at home order went into effect and she wasn't drinking it beforehand. So we think maybe her body might have a bad reaction, hence the migraines. But yeah, guys, go on Amazon tonight, Amazon Prime, watch What's With Wheat. And it tells you why wheat is so dangerous these days compared to the old day. Wheat is completely different. It's modified. It uh, has tons of chemicals sprayed on it and they've basically changed it to nothing like it used to be back in the day. That's why everyone's more intolerant. Uh, according to the documentary, and Desi and I believe that too. Another Rose, Rose Angel Kennar, $2 holler. Thank you, Rose. And this Rose, you're gonna get a little burger, a little burgie, a little burgie. What about your vegetables, Rose? Is that a special pot you uh, use for frying, babe? No, this is just a copper pot. Right. Could be thing. any pot, right? Could be any. As long as it's kind of thick walls. Yeah, right? exactly, Desi. You want a pot that usually has thicker walls so it retains a little more of the heat. That's a nice copper pot that is perfect for this. All right, Rose, here's, Rose is going keto tonight. She's got in cauliflower and burger. Wow, that's too big, sweetie, hold on. Okay, perfect. Let's see, I think she's just gonna eat the burger, <laughs> not the cauliflower. Oh, she'll eat it all, trust me. She had cauliflower earlier. Yeah, now let's make that, seasoning blend to toss the fries with. If you haven't said hello to the one and only Arthur T. Almasy wearing his flannel shirt on a Friday night, say hello. Hello. If you got a question, leave a How question, hashtag ask Art and he will answer you in the comments down below. <laughs> now, bowl. Let's make the spice rub to put on these frites when they come out. And I'm gonna warm my mini oven here to keep these mini, mini Keep these fries warm. Now, guys, this is keto brown sugar. And it's the only one I like on the market because it's soft and packable. Look at this. It actually has that molasses-like effect. No other ones on the market have it. And I really like that. Um, it's on, uh, I'm not sure if they have it on Thrive. Check it out. But it's really good. It's actually not gluten-free because it has malt in there, but just a little bit. And then I'll come into my spice pantry here and I'll get cumin and smoked paprika. And those three flavors, along with salt, when the fries come out, will be absolutely lovely. So a little bit of cumin goes in, a little bit of smoked goes in, and then I'll keep the salt separate. This is dynamite. So think about what we're doing, you guys. Sweet potatoes, deep fried in avocado oil, tossed in sugar-free brown sugar and smoked paprika spice rub, along with the bone marrow dry-aged grass-fed burgers and paleo donuts. Oh, smell that. Get in there, get your nose in there. Tommy boy, Maggie, Bridget, smell that. Ooh, can you smell la 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 What the Bob is cooking? Ooh, daddy's on fire. About ingredient, alternative ingredients, but I'm not sure for what, for the 
Uh, yeah, I'm not sure which one they're talking about there. And I'll just keep my spice rub yonder. Now let me just show you these burgers really quick. We got 1,100 people watching. Hope you all having a great day wherever you're watching from. Uh, once again, if you didn't hear earlier, today's sponsor is Thrive Market. Excellent, excellent company for ordering all your favorite healthy groceries for a big discount from the grocery store. Check this out, Desi. Down below in the description box, right below the video, there's a link here. It says thrivemarket.com Bobby's Pantry Staples. When you click it, and if you sign up for a year-long membership, you get a $20 shopping credit, and that landing page will take you to my favorite healthy pantry items. Uh, very, very cool. If for some reason you don't like Thrive Market, you can cancel after 30 days and they'll give you your membership back, but you get to keep the shopping credit. And then I keep talking about this, but so many people are affected by COVID health and financially. If you are, go down there, email them, and they might be able to hook you up with stipends or a free membership, but definitely check them out. They're amazing. And uh, their pasture-raised pork is amazing. Their uh, bacon is fantastic. The ghee I'm gonna cook the burgers in is absolutely fantastic. And speaking of the burgers, so there's a market in Chicago on North and Elston called Local Foods. Everything there is from locally sourced farms. These, you guys, are dry-aged, grass-fed burgers with bone marrow. They take the bone marrow, they scrape it out, they chill it, they grate it with a cheese grater, and they put it in the blend. What does that do? Well, it makes it really, really... Babe, 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 she's chopping. Ah. Oh my oh, God. God. Shit. <laughs> all good, all good, all good, all good, all good. All good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Always well. I'm sorry. Always well. I'm so Are we break anything? <laughs> sorry. No, no. Always well, you guys. Ooh. He's I'm a sorry. Too big. I'm sorry. Right, everybody's watching. I'm sorry. <laughs> Whew. I'm sorry. Daddy must have gave you too big of a burger. You okay? It's okay. okay. Everything's all right. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Right? It's okay. Here, where's your water? Let's give you a little water. Let's give you a little water. Huh? A little water? Okay. Everything's okay. Mm, wow. Anything could happen live, huh, Rose? I'm sorry. Well, let's have a little water. Hmm? I know. I'll clean up your mess. You don't worry about it. Here, have a little more water. Want more water? Okay. Woo! Rose is keeping things interesting on a Friday night. All right. Let's get all your burger meat cleaned up here. I'll get you back down if you want to go here. Uh huh. Uh huh. Always well, guys. Okay. Let's make sure your burger meat is much smaller for you. Mm -hmm. I think she's kind of done with the meat, babe. I don't I'll, want her eating. I'll just much. leave a little bit here. Okay. I know. I'm not taking away your food. You don't worry, sweet pea McGee. Okay. That piece is too big. Hold on. There you go. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, we're back. Nice Woo! reaction time. Yeah. Woo! Wow, keeping things interesting as if it wasn't hot enough in here already. Daddy needs some juice to uh, cool down. Hi, Bobby and Desi from Kim Likes Taco. Uh-huh. Uh, love the channel. Oops. Love the channel and your recipes. Is the BioLife mozzarella shreds casing free? Oh, yes, 100% plant-based. Yes. No, good question because sometimes... Dairy-free cheese is not plant-based, but that has no casein. Now, babe, come back here. Look, these fries are perfection right now. Look at that. Maggie's heart stopped. <laughs> that makes, look at that. That's lovely. Shake off the excess, right? These are perf. Okay, then while they're hot, come over here, Desi. We'll put a little bit of salt. See, nothing stops her. She keeps eating now. And then a little bit of spice rub here. And then we'll just shake it up. Ooh, smell that, Rose. Smell that. That's nice. Oh, man. Delicious, right? And then they, they tend to stick together a little bit. Not a big deal. But look at this, you guys. Super golden brown. A little tempura-ish. And then I'll take a second batch here. We're all get... breathing normal now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's what happens when you're cooking live. Right? 
my Jackie husband's. Jackie Athens Spiegel, 999 Super Chat with a Fox on the Heart. Aw, Jackie. Aww, thank, thank you. you. Andrea Boisseau, $10. Hi, guys. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Thank you, guys. Appreciate that. You're so sweet. Deborah needs a drink. <laughs> yeah, everyone needs a drink now. Everyone pour yourself a drink. All right, new batch in here. Then we come down here, Rose Honey. Let me grab Daddy's little mini oven that's slowly warming his grind. And we'll just put it on here to keep him warm, right? Now, I like to put the rack on there with a paper towel so it wicks away any uh, excess uh, oil. And it's just very low, 150. All right? Oh, hey, hey, you scared us. <laughs> but you're good, right? You're good. Here you go. Let's get just a touch more burger for you here. Elizabeth wanted to jump through the screen. <laughs> oh. All right, guys. Cheers to Friday night, the end of uh, another week. They're, they're all the same. They make, they make no difference right now. But here you go. Hope you're staying healthy. Ah, Now. I'm gonna keep frying batches, but those burgers, you guys. So let me just talk real quickly. So the burgers are great. If you live in Chicago, check out that company. Where the here? It's Local Foods. It's over on North and Elston. They have all grass-fed beef, pasture-raised pork, uh, pasture-raised chicken, and these burgers. I'm not even gonna flatten them. I'm gonna cook them like this. Um, they're fantastic. Now I love ordering pasture-raised. Uh, pork on Thrive Market, but sometimes if you don't want to wait or they're out of stock, try to find local shops that have relationships with local farmers, but these guys are fantastic. Lori Dunphy. Got a Lori Dunphy, 1999. Whoa. You were amazing. Oh, thank you. Dancing pair. Thank you, Lori. I appreciate that. Now, trivia, trivia for the night. Burgers. Do I want them to be room temperature when I cook them in my hot cast iron pan or cold from the fridge? What do you think and why? Okay. Sweetie, I think you need a sip of water too. Sip of water? All right. Yeah. I'll take some collagen water here. All right? Collagen water. Because I need collagen in my cheeks like you, Rose. Not everyone Does has the it. the beef taste gamey? Not at all. Like tastes like beef. It's you probably know. they're asking because of the bone marrow. Or no, if anything, sometimes grass fed beef can be a shade gamier, but no, it doesn't taste uh, gamey at all. Rose, I'm going to clean up this mess here. Beef loves me. Beef loves meat. Well said. Um, if you guys, by the way, have any questions for Desi, hashtag Ask Desi. For Art, hashtag Ask Art. Samantha Q, you guys have changed our lives. Today it was turning point for my husband, and now he is on the board for changing the way we see and eat food. We are so grateful. Which flower should we use? I'll let Desi answer that question. Desi? Should we, what flower, which flower? What um, flower should they use if they're going to bake, I'm guessing? Okay, yeah. So, I mean, I prefer paleo baking. So, for that, you would use almond flour, coconut flour, and Excuse arrowroot me, starch or tapioca starch. Oh. Uh, those are great for baking uh, and sticking to the paleo diet. Uh, if you are on keto, then no tapioca or uh, arrowroot starch but you can go with almond flour and coconut flour. So these are great alternatives to uh, regular wheat flour. Yep. Great. I mean, almond flour is the staple in the keto kitchen. Coconut flour is good for dredging food if you want to fry it. And like Jesse said. Yeah, but actually there's so many other ways to make a dough. Uh, like for mm. example, tonight we'll be making donuts and we won't be using any uh, almond flour. For example, we'll be using just tapioca starch and uh, ground flax seeds. Uh, so very interesting. I mean, we also have a recipe for keto bread uh, that actually has no flours in it. It just has egg, coconut, mana. Yeah. Um, and uh, which I prepped for Desi ahead of time. There's no flours in there. And you can still make a baked product. Yep. All right. Actually, speaking of donuts, we should probably get going on that. We got 1,300 lovely people watching. If you're just joining, please leave a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from. Um, here's the menu. Dry-aged burgers will be last. Sweet potato fries cooking in avocado oil right now, then dusted with that sugar-free brown sugar smoked paprika spice mix. Desi's about to get going on deep-fried paleo donuts because here's the deal. When you start frying things, you probably want to do a lot the next few days because you don't want to waste the oil. So we did fries once, then I made 
something else in here, I forgot. And then Desi uh, is gonna do the donuts cause you don't wanna waste the oil, it's expensive. So let me see if the second batch is ready to come out and let me chop another sweet potato really quick. And then Desi can take over and she could make her donuts. Yeah, spicy mayo with this rice would be great. Yes. Um, or like a special sauce with like mayo mixed with uh, some... Well, I'm making that. Some uh, ketchup and yep. some... Other I'm going to make that for the burger. So the burgers are going to be served on those cauliflower thins I like from uh, the grocery store outer aisle. And then uh, I'll make secret sauce. I was going to maybe uh, do some... Uh, Caramelized onions, but I figured it's too much work. Do you want more food? See, nothing can slow Rose down. If she sees food... Stop me now, right? Exactly. Don't stop her now. She's having the best time. That's like the third time she's kind of like choked in the last two weeks, right, Ben? Not two weeks. No, three weeks. Ever. Ever. It's a little scary. You gotta be very careful with uh, with pieces that are uh, hard and big. So yeah. Still learning to chew. Okay, I think these are ready to come out and then I'll let Desi come in here. So let's strain these over here real quick, Bebo. Look, guys, look how beautiful these are. I mean, that's the thing, you can't get this kind of color and texture if you bake them. I've been baking these for ages. They're good, but nowhere near as good as this. And Art, wouldn't you say that if you fry properly with the right temperature, they don't really soak up that much oil, right? Yeah, no, yeah. they shouldn't. Yeah, you got, you, if your oil temperature is too low, that's how fries get really soggy in oil. So once again, while they're hot, the cumin, smoked paprika, and sugar-free brown sugar, and salt. And then actually, let's let Desi try one of these from the previous batch here. Look at this, you guys. This is the ultimate French fry. It's got craggly little pieces of uh, tempura there. Lacey, Konecki, 99. Lacey. Oh. What? With a thanks emoji. Oh my God, I've never seen that one before. Wow, these fries, you guys. Oh my goodness. Can you hear, Art, can you hear this? Listen, ready? Can you hear that? I can't hear it. The microphone's not that good. Wow. That one's probably good. That's tasty as can be. You guys hear that or no? Is it only me? Only in my it drinks? Might be able to. It's just your Bluetooth doesn't pick it up. Ah. They're as, delicious. Absolutely as, delicious. As real as it can be, it's only in my dreams. Can you get that um, brown sugar at Whole Foods? Uh, no. It's only online. It's actually on my Amazon shop store too. There's, we only have uh, four days until they cut my commissions from 8% to 1%. So if you want to go to my Amazon shop page to get all my kitchen gear, and I do have a few food items like the brown sugar. Amazon.com slash shop slash Flav City. Hey, Desi, show some of the pantry items in my Thrive Box that we it? got also. What can't you hear? The crunch. Oh, the crunch. So I got some raw cacao there. You want some more food, sweetie? I got some raisins, some uh, macadamia nuts. A lot of that stuff's in my uh, pantry bundle when you click the link down below, including the ghee. We're going to cook the grass-fed bone marrow burgers in ghee. Oh, OMG is right, Arthurion. Okay, this batch goes in. I'm going to wash my hands. And then Desi's going to get cracking on the donuts. This, we just thought of the donuts literally today also, right? Would nutritional yeast be good for the fries? Um, yeah, for sure. I just bought some for my Trader Joe's haul that's coming out tomorrow. That'd be great too. That'd be a nice, actually, kind of cheesy cheese fry without adding any cheese. <laughs> okay, so I'm breaking up the fries here. And now, let me cut one more sweet potato just so it's here. All right, how many more are we going to fry, Bibble? We're going to keep going all night long. All right. You guys don't mind, do you? All night long. <laughs> some more. Is there, is there such a thing as too many fries? Uh-uh. No way. No way. So what was the temperature for your fries again? 375. And you want to monitor that temperature because when you add stuff to a fryer, the temperature drops. So you usually have to crank it up. So I actually have the heat over medium high right now to try to keep it as uh, close to 375 as possible. 
very important for subsequent batches so they don't get uh, soggy. Because once again, cold oil will make soggy fries and you don't want that. All right, What's my next batch is ready. Donuts? Well, I'll let Desi talk about that. All right. All right, I need one more sip of wine. Cheers, Avocado everyone. Avocado oil you're using, right? Yep, the high y'all. Chase that with some Yes, Rose water. is waving to work. Hey, you. Hey, you, eggs and bakey. Mwah. Okay, Desi, you take my mic. All right. Cheers to you, Mariana. Things are looking good here. All right, Shaky McGee. It's shaking over here. Shaking taking. Get ready, you guys. Hey, come shaky. T take your... Uh... <laughs> Uh, vertigo it's, pills. It's nausea, yeah. nausea Take medication. your vertigo pills, yeah. <laughs> Especially when daddy's on the juice, right? <laughs> Boom, cheers. Uno, dos, tres, catorce. Uh, Yahoo! All right. Desi's about to make some palio deep fried donuts. What flavor? And these donuts haven't been made before. Oh. First time we're making them. No, we nothing like uh, doing a first time thing here. Uh, guys, keep leaving comments down below. Let Rose, Honey, and Arthur know where you're watching from. If you have any questions, you leave a comment down below with hashtag Ask Art. Hashtag Ask Desi. Hashtag Ask Rose. When is the last time I had McDonald's? I want to say it was probably 14 years ago when I was in Europe with uh, my friend Todd. Uh, I think we've had it together when we were like in Japan or something. I don't know. No, not, not in Japan. I don't think yeah, so. Yeah, in Japan together for like, that was like 10 years ago. In the airport maybe? I'm going to go with Desi on this one. 10 years ago. <laughs> no, AB, it's only online. Okay, one, one less. Okay, that's enough. My Boca life. Raton's here. California's here. We got Stangman in Austin. Jill, my girl from Michigan. What's the best way to fry chicken? Um... Use avocado oil, brine your chicken overnight, and I like to do a pickle juice brine, mm -hmm. marinated in buttermilk. All right. Do a double dip batter of from buttermilk to flour, buttermilk to flour, and then deep fry it like I'm doing right now. Okay, let me get my ingredients over here. Yeah, I prepped this all for you, my love. Ugh, heavy. Yeah, careful. Let me go this way. Rose, mommy's making donuts. Mommy's making donuts, yay! All right, so this is a variation of the dough we made for uh, the um, buns on Wednesday. If you guys joined on Wednesday, we made those buns uh, and we baked them in the oven. But today, we're going to use the basis of this dough, make it sweet. Instead of baking, we're going to fry them into donuts. <laughs> so fingers crossed it's going to work. We haven't done it before. I did make the dough yesterday and I baked them into yeah, buns and one. they turned out great. The flavor is amazing. So we thought, why not fry them up? Let's see what not? happens. And then what do you want to make the dough into next that we were talking about? Uh, oh, yeah. And then we can try making cinnamon buns with, yes. that, with that dough. So uh, stay tuned. If that works out, post the recipe yep. on Flav City for sure. Nice, Rhonda. All right. So uh, remember, if you were here on Wednesday, uh, we used tahini sauce for the for the um, yep. uh, buns, but today we'll replace that with coconut mana or coconut butter, which is this, not to be confused with coconut oil. No. Very different. Coconut yep. oil is very loose and turns into liquid when it's heated. Uh -huh. This is very thick. Um, it, it contains more of the meat of the coconut, um, but it's very buttery. Yep. Christine, so yes. You want you that, that. Uh, for this recipe. Uh-huh. I'm going to check my fries really quick. Oh, oh, this is so exciting. I really wish. So right there, turn that iPad slightly to your right. To my right, Art. Okay, so let's see. Like that. There we go. Now oh, I can see Rose. All right, Art can see Rose. See that? Art, Rose. Art, Rose. Art, keep an eye on my fries over here, will you? Keep a what? Keep an eye on my fries over there, will you? Can't see the fries. Uh, well, turn your head. You can see them then. There you go. <laughs> Tommy Dalton, ever consider a gimbal for the iPhone? That's a, that's an art question. We've tried oh, a gimbal. That'd be a cool addition. We've tried a gimbal, I remember, and we would, didn't like it. We did, well, it wasn't the right one. It wasn't appropriately sized for the phone at the time. Well, we also. Well, I'm starting, like well starting with two right. eggs. Yeah, we also have the audio rig attached to this. Right, I'm starting Good with two eggs. To, uh, accommodate it, but. We haven't gone there yet. 
Oh, Rob, I'll, an I'll answer that uh, when I start cooking it. You guys leave your answer for the burger should it be cold or room temperature? Yeah, they did. A bunch of people said cold. Oh, you are correct. It yes. is cold. Unlike a steak, burgers need to be cold. Otherwise, the fat can get kind of room temperature and get mushy. Uh, I don't know, Taylor, how she's going to shape the donuts yet. We're frying the uh, fries in avocado oil. Speaking of, it might be time to get this batch out of here. I'm not sure. All right, I can do it, babe. Yeah, these are these are ready to pop up. All right, I can do it. Okay, you can do it. Travel shall, check. Shall I grab? Where's that thing? First, put it in there. Travel check four ninety nine. I know you don't care about being in ketosis, but do you try to stay under a certain amount of carbs each day? Uh, nope, we don't do that either. We just don't eat too many carbs in general, not including tonight. Because even though, oh, you got to season it, babe. Season it, a little bit of salt. Even though, um, What's like the sweet, the sweet potatoes might be a little starchy or bread with cassava might be starchy, we don't eat too much of that. Oh, yeah, I'd never count that. And then a little bit of seasoning here. Okay. And then toss it up like you work at Mickey D's, girl. Yeah. You want fries with that? Yes, please. <laughs> nice. The last fast food. Of course, I went fries with that. The last fast food I had was with Art. We did Shake Shack review. And even though it's not the highest quality, it's probably one of the better ones around. And then with yeah, Thomas, the, the, uh, the last fast food. Oh, I got a rose. Oh no, you did the quarantine review. Oh, I did the quarantine. Yeah, I had that Blaze pizza. And yeah, yeah Rose wants some fries. Too. True. All right, you guys. Thank we should check out a shakshuka. That'd just be <laughs> we got to drop the next batch of fries, but you want to do that? Oh do it. <laughs> All right. Sure, sure. Uh, let me get the fries. Yeah, I'll put these in for you. This is like first person point of view. You guys are doing it. Taylor, Maggie, you're doing this, not me. All of these, Ben? Uh, probably don't have room for quite all of them. Take the one in your left hand. That should be good enough. Then mix those up. With hand? Yeah, with your hand. Try to get them coated. Ooh. The stuff is sticking to the bottom. Yeah, it happens. You should probably mix that up. You could add a little more water to it also if you want to mix it up. Here. No, oh, too much water. There you man. go. Don't worry about it. It's all good. I got it. No, I'm mixing with my fingers, you guys. <laughs> gross. Give some, give some food to Rose, babe, okay. please. When you put those in the fryer, I'll be careful. only do like two at a time. So okay, they don't stick okay, and then okay. immediately uh, mix them. Hey, bub. Want some more food? What are we eating? Oh, we're eating dessert now. This is uh, pears. Pears cooked in uh, virgin coconut oil. Hi, Rose. As soon as she hears the frying, she's like, some barbecue sauce? Yeah. I have the most amazing sugar-free barbecue sauce, actually. Mm -hmm. Isn't this going to smell good? Wait till the burgers start to cook, Rose. It's going to smell amazing. Huh? And so if you guys were asking before about a gimbal, it'd be kind of tough to do because you can see in the reflection here, we have this rig here and the audio is attached there. So it might be kind of tough to put that on a gimbal. All right, so Desi's tossing in everything and then you immediately want to go mix them up. Thank you, Desi. Things are working out pretty well here. Pretty happy. It just takes time because we're doing small batch fries. These are Flav City small batch artisan sweet potato fries. You can't rush perfection, right, Art? You know it, man. All right. There's probably a song about that. I'm pretty sure there is. Let's get back to uh, dessert. All right. And a little keto wine. I think Phil Collins saying you can't hurry fries. You just have to wait. Something like that. Sounds about right. That's really dumb. All right. Hmm. Ah, uh, Zoom meeting. Yeah, Zoom for 1,300 people. That'd be fun. D Brown from oh. Green Bay, Wisconsin. All right, next up, uh, let's put... Oh, first of all, uh, let, me, let me use another, another cup here. All right, next up, we're going to add a quarter cup of uh, coconut sugar. There's four tablespoons of coconut... I of, um, already measured a few, didn't I? Right here. Hello. Oh, you measured? I, pre I prepped everything for Odessa. There, there's just... four tablespoons of... Uh, yeah. Of... I measured for you. Hello. Okay. Celebrity chef treatment for Desi. No, okay. one, no one measures Four tablespoons stuff. or a quarter cup of coconut sugar. Yes. Goes in with the eggs. And I'm like, and 
I'm sorry, babe. I didn't see it. I didn't see because you usually don't pre-measure stuff for me. A lot of folks want to know where Rose got her shirt from. Uh, Rose got her shirt from Gap. It's a pajama, pajama actually. Fall into the gap. I was thinking the same thing, Art. Pajamas. Yeah. Okay, a little bit this of is beyond easy. vanilla. Yeah. A little yeah. bit of vanilla. Yeah, so this does have, always has a touch of sugar in there, unfortunately, but we just love the flavor of vanilla bean paste. Mm. Um, if you're allergic to avocado oil, I would fry in pasture-raised lard or go ahead and get expeller pressed sunflower oil. That'd be your other option because olive oil wouldn't work. All right, I'm gonna whisk this up with the sugar. We want the sugar to dissolve uh, with the eggs. So that's eggs, brown sugar, and yeah. vanilla? Yeah, eggs, brown sugar, and vanilla. So the flavor of the donuts, uh, well, we have vanilla, uh, we have this coconut mana, it's gonna add some sweetness as well. We have the coconut sugar, uh, which has this caramel type of uh, flavor, and I'm gonna add zest of a lemon. So there's no specific flavor that's going on in the, in the donuts per se, but then we're gonna toss them in some cinnamon sugar, and so that's gonna make them, I guess, cinnamon sugar donuts. Mm -hmm. uh, we buy the vanilla paste from uh, usually Amazon, but I think Thrive Market might have it either. Might have it too. Vanilla bean paste has way more vanilla seeds. So one teaspoon of vanilla bean paste has the same amount of vanilla seeds from one pod. Oh, yeah, we have a uh, monk fruit powdered sugar. We can use that too, good call. All right, next up, we have a quarter cup of coconut mana mm -hmm. or coconut um, butter. butter. This is it right here. It's not coconut oil. It's not coconut uh, uh, cream. It's coconut butter. And you don't have to melt it. Yes, um, it is. Because I'm going to add some hot water to it. Correct. So here's a Yes, Maria, it's on my Amazon store too. Yeah, so we use that coconut mana to make Bobby's... Uh, keto bread, which is in the book. Mm -hmm. uh, Rob is asking when Thrive will start taking orders. They, they kill the orders after 2 p.m. because they're just so busy. So if you can't get it now, just use my link tomorrow and make sure you place it before 2 p.m. Uh, in the afternoon because their orders have gone through the roof and they can't keep up, but they're trying their best. They're not raising prices and they're not uh, overworking the uh, fulfillment people. All right, folks, we got 1,500 people watching. Uh, leave a comment down below if you haven't done so yet, letting us know where you're watching from. Uh, and also share, share the stream, take the link, paste it over to your Instagram stories and your Facebook wall. All right, next step, let's mix up some dry ingredients. Here are the dry ingredients. Yeah, I, ha I need a quarter cup of ground flax seeds. Yep. You can ground them yourself or uh, they sell those at the store as well. Yes, they do. It's always nice to grind them yourself because they're fresh that way. True that. Yeah, I hear you, Annie, or Nancy. They're sold out of a lot of stuff, but it keeps coming in, so I wouldn't worry about it. Joe Serrano, not jalapeno, Joe Serrano. 100 <laughs> Mexican pesos, burgers, fries, and donuts. I'm drooling. Appreciate you all. Thank you, Joe. Thank, thank you, Joe. Thank you. Have we seen Finley on here tonight yet? I haven't seen Joseph Finley in Tunes yet. Ooh, nice Natalia. Has then her own we go fat. in with two tablespoons of psyllium husk. And this is the key, you guys, to the donuts. Don't skip this one because the psyllium husk there he uh, is. will make the donuts airy and spongy. There he is. Um, very, very airy, just like uh, gluten would. So it would be safe to say, don't be silly and skip the psyllium. Don't be silly. Finley's in the house with the $5. Finley's Super in the house. Chad. Him and, who's cooking tonight? You or Tunes's? Tunes's, the drive <laughs> Exactly, the Sherry. Drive you around. can do notifications on uh, Thrive turn. Market when they uh, are out of stock. And okay. They'll email you when it's back in stock. We're going to add a pinch of salt just to balance the flavor. Oh, good question from Rebecca. Ask Desi, can we use ground chia seeds instead of flax? I haven't tried it. Yeah, it's pretty different. I haven't different. tried it. So, um, it's going to be a lot thicker. Give it a try. I don't know if the moisture like. is going to get absorbed properly. Um, oh, nice, Joseph. 
Yeah, but so. I should give it a try and uh, see if that could be replaced or even better. It might be even better, you know? I think Rose is talking hard over there. All right. Uh, a a half a teaspoon of baking soda. The same salt you would cook with, Marcy. Unrefined pink salt, gray salt, whatever you want. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. Oh, Rose is still eating, my God. <laughs> She's back to dinner. Wow. Are you back to dinner, Rosie? No one's feeding her. She's like, I'm going to pick whatever I have left. She's doing here. like Italian signs to Rose. To Art. Manja, manja. <laughs> <laughs> right? right, Rose? You're going, manja, yep. manja. And we need a quarter cup of arrowroot starch. Yes. Here's or our arrowroot starch arrowroot right here. Or uh, tapioca starch works just fine. Yeah. Right, Rosie? All right, can you bring that bowl over here? These are done, babe. These oh, fries. Okay, babe. You gotta cut. Oh, these are beautiful. Oh my gosh. So drain them with your spider. A little overcooked. Yeah, these might have got a little bit. Not that bad, to be honest. I don't know. What do you guys think? Overcooked or not? And then a little crispy. It's little all right. Season them with salt. See, Jessica's gonna use the same salt that she's baking with to cook with. I'm using the chunky gray salt for my. Uh, Burgers later on. Malden sea salt is fantastic, Robbie, for uh, for finishing with. Look, Rose. Look at the fries. Mm. Huh? Well said. Harika says the family that cooks together stays together. Oh my God, Rose like that. Keep going. <laughs> like that? <laughs> shake, 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 <laughs> shake, 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 Senora. Shake your body, right? Hey, Rose. Jenny M was asking uh, you and me if we saw the latest SNL where they did skits from home. What did you think? I haven't seen SNL in a long time. I don't know about you, Bobby. Did you see that? I just saw the uh, the intro with uh, Tom Hanks. Should we fry the rest of these okay. guys? Uh, yeah, might as well throw those in. I can cut some more if you want. Brittany well, Melendra. Let, let me finish my dough because you have to see me. It has to sit. So uh, yeah, this would be way better than imitation. Imitation is bad news, you guys. Ali no, Chow. Vanilla extract versus oh, um, vanilla paste. Yeah, paste is better, but extract is fine. The benefit of extract, it doesn't have any sugar in there. Thank you, Ali Chen. $15. Awesome job, you guys. Thank you, Ali Chen. Yeah, Malden is for finishing. Correct. Uh, Taylor, can I make a keto paleo potato salad or pasta salad? Interesting. I'll think about it, Taylor. Thank you. Potato salad would be tough unless it was sweet, sweet potatoes. Sweet potato. Yeah. But sweet potatoes get very mushy, so that might be kind of tough. You can't do keto because sweet no. potatoes are not keto. What do you use instead of baking powder? We didn't use baking powder. We used baking soda. Baking soda. All right, those go in. Let's see how many fries we have. Ooh, we have a lot. Ooh, hello, hello, governor. Look at that, Rose. Oh, wow. Ooh, Lordy. These look good, huh? <laughs> Don't tease her, babe. Oh, my God. Not yet, Rose. Pretty soon you can have that. In the meantime, have your puree. Guys, that is so darn tasty. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Yum, All right. Uh, let me measure a quarter of the arrowroot starch here. And the arrowroot starch is going to help to make this also very airy and light. I'm going to add that to our dry ingredients. Okay, so here's our dry ingredients. Got everything. Uh, I mix them up. So, great question for a non dairy cottage cheese for my egg bites. Use dairy free cream cheese instead of cottage cheese because they don't make dairy-free cottage and use uh, the Vile Life cheddar cheese. You'll be good to go. <laughs> the uh, Kite Hill makes the best dairy-free uh, cream cheese around. Last bite. Oh, you found, you found the hair, Mom. Oh, she keeps eating. <laughs> My God. Okay, that's it. All done. All done, my love. Wow, Will Art up, be huh? getting some of that dinner tonight? <laughs> right. Sadly, no. Uh, okay. I was just typing back there. 
Uh, live raw, I only see Violife in the grocery stores at Whole Foods, to be honest. You can't get that kind of stuff on uh, Thrive Market because it's refrigerated. But you can get the pasture-raised pork and beef and uh, chicken and seafood on there. Hashtag Ask Desi, what is psyllium husk used for? A binder? Uh, yeah, it is, it is a type of binder. And it helps make baked goods uh, more spongy and more airy, just like uh, um, wheat would. So I use psyllium husk a little bit in my paleo bread and uh, paleo sandwich bread, if you check it out on Clay C. And it's amazing, you, it's just like real bread. All right, so uh, the last ingredient is a little bit of vinegar, a teaspoon of vinegar, and I'll add that to... What does that um, do? The vinegar will uh, activate with the baking soda. Ah. Just a little bit. This is why I don't bake, you guys. It's way too scientific. The measurements, it's like, hey. Let me make, make sure I don't forget about the lemon zest. Yes, for you guys asking, so this is the brown sugar. That's keto. Grab so it. look at this. It's made with erythritol. And it does have a touch of malt extract, so it's not technically gluten-free. But um, Or should I use a Meyer lemon? Why not? We got it. You got to wash it. Have a Meyer Because look what I found today at the market. It's a Meyer lemon. It's a cross between a clementine and a lemon. And it's really, really delicious. I heard those work well in uh, guacamole, too, if you don't want to eat <laughs> When you hear that, Art. <laughs> <laughs> this is back from our first YouTube video ever filmed. It's how to make guacamole. No one's seen that. No one's it, seen that. It never, it never saw the light of day. You guys think these are done? Or should I go in a minute longer? What do you think? They're done. They're done? Okay. <laughs> and that's your twist I, on guacamole, right, Are they Jason ben? Meyer? It's right. All right, my love. You need help, man? What was the Meyer from Friday the 13th? Was that Jason Meyer, right? Don't ask Gard, he hasn't seen it probably. Friday the 13th, have you seen that movie? Mike Meyer. Uh, I don't think I've seen it. No, Rose is all done. Thinking of Halloween, Michael Myers. Oh, Michael, is Halloween. it Halloween? Okay, I haven't thank seen you. It in the Friday the 13th movie. Whoa, stop the presses. Linda, hurry. A monster $50 super chat with an amazing oh, rocket. A rocket wow. ship. Art, like art, art's in a rocket. There's a rocket. <laughs> Linda, muchas gracias. Thank you so much. This fry's for you, Linda. This one's for you. She Hold hates on, me, my Linda. Rocket. rocket. Art's taking a rocket. <laughs> the pair was taking a rocket. <laughs> All right, let's dump these fries in the batcher bin. Should we stop? Is that enough or no? Oh. I can't get this in here. Oh, yeah, babe. I, I, first, let me finish with Rose, okay? Okay. I'll just get this one that fell here. All right. All done, my love. Oh, my God. Mm, how good. You want to fry more or no? Uh, sure. Okay. Fry some more. Fry some Ooh, more, right? Rose. Fry go some play more. more. Hey. Go play. Hey, manja. Go play. Go with, play, my Go play with Lily. That's Lily, by the way. Say hi, Lily. Hi, Play City fam. <laughs> <laughs> That's Lily, Desi, hi. and Rose, and I love her, and she's very, very Aww. awesome. I love you guys. Too. And she'll be moving on to her next job sometime in the near future, and we're gonna miss her greatly. Oh, I know. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. All right, Lily, and come back later. Oh, I definitely will. Bye, Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you soon. This is uh, Desi, uh, Rose's new uh, toy. We're teaching her to walk with this. She's pushing a radio flyer wagon and it has weights in here and she's learning how to walk with this and she did it for the first time today it was pretty cool all right guys we got all our ingredients Chicago folk here Northwestern go cats nice thank you Jordan go cats I'm gonna add my eggs sugar and vanilla to the coconut mana uh, and water I gotta add those fries the oil is gonna get too hot <laughs> Let me finish, please. Mm -hmm. Let me finish because this has to sit. Yes, ma'am. This has to sit for uh, 10 minutes. Turn the heat down just a little bit here. Yes, chef. Oh, interesting. Hashtag ask art. Do you relate to Bart from The Simpsons? Interesting. 
Oh, that wine is so All good, right. you guys. I'm adding my dry ingredients on top. Mm-hmm. Mixy, mixy, mixy. Mixy, mixy. The batter has to hydrate, right? Yes. <laughs> Chris, is Lily single? <laughs> she is. She's new to Chicago. You're in the wrong city, though, Austin. And, uh, Chris. <laughs> Chris Bundes, one ninety nine with cool emoji. Thank you for that. Uh, Michelle, you got to go to Amazon.com slash shop slash Flav City. What salt do we finish with? Um, I'll usually finish with uh, Malden sea salt. I'll finish with Hawaiian pink salt. Or I'll finish with uh, any one of these. If you want a really flaky oh, one, here, this. Yeah, Meyer lemon. Thing. Oh, the Meyer lemon. Any, any unrefined salt that's your favorite, you can finish with. Jesse, where'd you find that walking wagon? Uh, it's on Amazon, uh, or also just go to actually um, uh, the website for this company. It's called Radio Wagon, um, and it's cheaper actually right now. I got it um, for with a free shipping and a discount code, so uh, got it for like seventy bucks. Now all we need is Radio Gaga. It's a little Radio more expensive on, on, on Amazon. It's about <laughs> ninety dollars or so. Rock me, baby, like a wagon wheel. Rock me, my baby. <laughs> All right, this Meyer lemon's gonna add a nice flavor to it our smells donuts. Smells amazing. You guys smell that? Oh my God! Ray and Michelle, so can you smell that? It really does smell like a cross between an orange and a lemon. It's crazy. Yeah. Bob, are you excited for Sunday night? Am I excited for Sunday night? Uh, what's happening on Sunday not night? For, not referring to Homeland. Okay. Uh, what are we referring to? The last dance, Chicago Bulls, 97-98. It starts. Oh, it starts on Sunday? ESPN. Oh, cool. I'll watch that for sure. But I'm also excited for Homeland, too. Oh, yeah, that, too. But... Uh, right. The Kite Hill, it's not a brick. They don't make it in brick form. And you would use just as much as cottage cheese as the recipe calls for. Correct. All right, Desi's. All right. See, the dough is already coming dough's together. Money. Uh, we're going to let it continue hydrating here. For about 10 minutes. Sounds good. Then we'll be ready for prime. Oh, we finished Ozark. It was really good. It wasn't as great as people have been saying, but it was very good. And we finished Devs very also. Good. Yeah, we watched the... Uh, Devs was good too. The ending was yeah, good. Yeah, the finale of Devs last night was good. We're really enjoying uh, Little Big Fires on Hulu. Uh, the recipe for the deep fried donuts, uh, we don't have it yet. It's the same. We're still experimenting. We're still right? experimenting. But many of the ingredients are the same. I posted on the community tab the other day for the bao buns. The recipe will be available on demand once this thing's over. Uh, yes, exactly right, Art. I can't watch Tiger King, Kristen. I tried to watch it. It's just not my kind of show. Whoa, Rebecca right. has a Meyer lemon tree. You must live in California. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> nice live, bro. All right, I'm done, Bebo. Okay. Uh, what do you want me to do now? Uh, just grab the camera and I'll come back and... Uh, Fry some just, more. Eat some fries. Yes, you can certainly eat some fries. Mm. Make me some that sauce, babe. Secret sauce? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I mean, we're going to save the burgers for last minute anyway because all these fries. They can't hear them. Mm. I think now might be a good time for people to share and hit the thumbs up button. Mm. I agree. And eat some fries. My God. These fries, you guys, are insane. Mmm. Wow. Try that with a little... Yeah, let's finish this, babe. Um, All right. Just us. Let's have it. <laughs> Try that with a little chaser of wine. Yeah. Here. Wow. Look at that. They're so good, guys. They're insane. Let me get some more fries now. Mm. So, once again, the burgers are dry-aged, grass-fed with bone marrow in the filling. If you live in Chicago, check out local foods mm. near wow. Elston and North Avenue. Really, really cool company. 
Rachel, my girl from San Quentin, thanks for all you do. The information you provide is priceless. We need more people like you guys in the world. I can't tell enough people about you. When are you posting the Trader Joe's Hall video? Thank you so much. You're so kind. Trader Joe's Hall video with me and Rose going up tomorrow morning. Quarantine style. My girl Courtney, the COVID recovery from Pittsburgh. Hi, guys. Hope you are well. We hope you are well. How's our girl Tammy doing, who uh, husband was in the ICU? We get an update on Tammy. <clears throat> so I'm going to drop these. Coconut butter. What else can we use it for? For so many things, you guys. It's just so delicious. Uh, you can put it in smoothies. Uh, you can make our keto bread with it. Mm -hmm. You can um, mix it with some uh, homemade almond milk or just almond milk to make it thick and luscious. Um, just add it to a drink. Um, typically, what I do, uh, it's just a fantastic source it's of really good nutrients. Stuff. Yeah. Really good stuff. Okay. Get some more tapioca starch and water here. And it's not really making a mess, which is lovely. Accidental no. Housewife, $9.99. Oh, I love Accidental Housewife. Thank you. You're so sweet. Hope you're finally calm so, your nerves. So I can tell these. this batch is a little hotter. See the way that oil is reacting? I can just tell. Baby Rose is a-okay. The Your oil is very hot. So I'm going to move these around. I want to make sure I don't burn these fries. So because it was going with nothing in there, the temperature probably got over 400, which is not ideal. But now we're at 383. So now we're back on track here. Yes, I do eat chipotle, Amanda. I love chipotle. Uh, what I order, I usually order a bowl uh, with okay, let's clean up here. Um, beans and um, chicken and um, uh, the fixings like guac and lettuce. Uh -huh. Sometimes I throw in some fajita mix like um, <clears throat> the onions and the peppers. The peppers. And uh, I very rarely get the brown rice, <laughs> but I typically get a bowl, yeah. Some people like a bowl art. How do you shape so my donuts? donuts? Oh, you'll see how I'm going to shape the donuts. Yes. It's a very interesting method. Listen, we've never fried these before. We know the, the batter is good, but we've never fried it. So we, we don't really know what's going to happen. It's, it's like an unsolved mystery. What's going to happen? Bobby said, what if they disintegrate in the oil? I, I did. It's a possibility. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know. This is live. Anything can happen. Secret sauce. We think of secret sauce like at McDonald's, Burger King. They should keep it a secret because the ingredients are ugh, hideous, right? High fructose corn syrup, extra sugar, uh, cruddy quality soybean oil, and the mayonnaise. Homie don't play that game, right? Homie does it right. So, homie goes to his fridge. He's going to get two of the best ingredients possible. Number one, avocado oil mayonnaise. Number two, sugar-free keto ketchup. A little bit of unsweetened dill relish, mm. some Tabasco sauce, and what else do I know? Oh, some lemon juice. We'll use Meyer lemon juice. Worcestershire sauce, and then a secret ingredient that actually Jamie Oliver taught me this a while back, a little shot of bourbon. And this company is actually from DeKalb, where Desi went to college. They converted their distillery into a factory to make... Uh, Hand sanitizer, hand sanitizer, whiskey acres. But then the FDA told them they didn't have the right license for that. And I hope they change that because all these small companies like Whiskey Acres said, hey, we'll make masks, we'll make hand sanitizer. And there was some red tape involved from like old, you know, antiquated uh, laws. But hopefully they changed it because all these great American companies have switched gears into making stuff we need. Really, really cool. Um, Sriracha and mayo. I was thinking, ooh, that would be a Uh, you know what? Let's just put a little shot of sriracha in there, just for uh, just for the fun of it. Why not? <clears throat> a little bit of heat, a little bit of sweet. Courtney Morris, nineteen ninety nine. Oh, Courtney. Jesse, you're so knowledgeable when it comes to baking. Hopefully, one day I'll get there. I found the Bobby's biscuits, but I did make chocolate chip cookies like you made them, and they turned out really good. Thank you, Courtney. Co hey, Courtney, those, do those biscuits again, Courtney. The biscuits are so darn easy. If I could bake them, anyone can, because I don't really like to bake. So a little bit of... If you have can cook, so can you. Well said, Art. A little bit of avo. What did someone tweet you recently? 
Oh, but yesterday dude, you guys, it? oh my God, I got this tweet yesterday. It was so ridiculous. It was like a three-part tweet also. And it was like, my son and his daughter followed- My relatives. Well, some relative followed your advice and someone else and they spent all their money on healthy stuff and went broke, so now they're living in my basement. Stop peddling your garbage and trying to sell your products to people who don't need them. So I responded back to them, like I don't sell anything and I never tell people what to do. So stop blaming me for the fact that you have relatives living in your, uh, in your uh, basement, in a van down by the river, right, Art? That's right. Okay, oh, yeah. so what are what is your guys' <laughs> What is your guys' <laughs> That was good art. Am I out of keto mayonnaise? Uh what is your guys' favorite uh topping for a burger? We're talking lettuce tomato, onions, raw onions, caramelized onions, um Pickles, like what is the one thing you can't live without on a burger? For me, it's pickles. Desi yes, loves pickles. Oh, bacon, yeah, bacon. Lately, oh, Desi's bacon. been crushing pickles and ketchup, and I'm like, are you pregnant? Cheese and onions, <laughs> yeah, not. cheese, cheese. Of course. We're do we're, so we don't eat cheese very often, but I got some raw cheddar cheese from Local Foods. And we're going to uh, put that on the burger tonight. Stingman, egg on top. Ooh. Oh, an egg is classy, you guys. All right, so this mound of french fries is looking unbelievable. Let's get a couple more here for Desi and I to snack on. And then I'll fry the last batch. This is working out so swimmingly, you guys. It's crazy. And they have fried it down, man. Oh, my God. It's a joy to eat those. It really is, because you can't get that kind of stuff. At a restaurant. No one cooks them in avocado oil. Sweetie, what happened one time when you went to Rocket? That's a restaurant in Chicago. <laughs> and we ordered sweet potato fries. Uh, you have no idea how funny that was because I was thinking the exact same thing right before you opened your mouth to say that. <laughs> well, hey, I didn't double fry my fries and it came out well. So Art and I and Desi went to a restaurant in Chicago years ago called Rocket. And we ordered sweet potato fries with our meal. And they weren't very crispy. So I asked, I asked them to bring the chef out so I can ask him a question. And needless to say, he wasn't very receptive to my question and didn't like the fact that I was uh, doubting the crispiness of his fries. <laughs> Baby, you're, you're they missing the potato fries. They were the truffle fries. Because oh, they, really? They were crispy, but then when you add the truffle oil to them, that makes them a little not crispy. Interesting. Yeah, that's right. But babe, this is you 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 missed like half the story. Uh, the, the, the funniest part of the story is that you were talking to the chef, uh -huh. and you said his fries were a little soft, and he was uh, resistant to your comment, and you went on to tell him that perhaps his oil wasn't uh, hot enough. Did I say that? <laughs> yes. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, you said it wasn't hot enough. <laughs> And then he said, we cook the fries twice. First time we cook them at 300 degrees. Second time we cook them at 375 degrees. Yikes. That's why I don't go out very often. Don't let me leave the house, you guys. All right. So ketchup, mustard, Tabasco, booze. Courtney, uh, I just found chat. out. Whoa, Courtney just found out she's pregnant and she needs to learn what food to stay away from advice. Woohoo! Three Whoa, cheers to Courtney. Congrats. Oh, and that Lindsay is Posner, the we best about, news uh, ever. $4.99. Lindsay? Oh, thank you, Lindsay. That was sweet of you. We got to crack so open a bottle of a keto wine for Courtney. And you're cooking essentials. Much love to you, Rose, and Desi. Stay safe. Stay safe. Ah, let me see it. Oh, Lindsay. Wow, thank you. Very, very sweet. Michael and Lindsay, thank you. All this right. All right, Courtney. Courtney, I would recommend the paleo diet to you. Paleo diet for pregnancy. sure. Uh, do have some starches here and there, so your baby's exposed to those other foods, but don't overdo it and stay away from gluten. I stayed away from gluten and dairy for the most part, uh, from sugar, of course, um, and from anything that's, um, uh, um, Courtney Morris, uh, that's um, Woo, doggy! food with preservatives. That's a good one. If so, you guys have ordered that keto wine, this is La Catura. 
It's slightly more robust than the regular Palo. This one's amazing. With the burger later on, it's going to be se magnifique. Is this the last batch of fries you're making or you have one? That's it. No, that's it. Then I'm done. Oh, okay. Then it's you'll make... Donut, cause I'm so excited. And you got to make your dough nuts. So, uh, just to finish this, a little bit of dill relish. And let me see. Hold on. I have a recipe on my website. I want to make sure I'm not missing it. Flav City Secret Sauce. Here we go. Anytime you have a question, if I have a recipe, just Google it. Flav City plus whatever. Secret sauce is mayo, ketchup, relish, Tabasco, lemon juice, salt, pepper, and the booze. Okay, here we go. So let's put the Meyer lemon juice. Here we go. Beauty. We'll just squeeze some of that in there. And it's going to be sweet and tangy because of that. Look at this. Mmm. Wow. Meyer lemon Unbelievable, you guys. Golly. They're only in season, I think, a little longer. They have them at uh, Whole Foods. I would get them for sure. And then look, all of a sudden, the sauce becomes that beautiful pink we're used to. My girl, Jerry Edelin, thank you for your advice on healthy eating. Thank you. It's my pleasure, you guys. Look at that. Secret sauce. We check it for seasoning. Ooh-wee. Just like Mickey D's, but better. And I don't need sriracha because I used chipotle mayonnaise from my boys at PK. That is bomb.com. Dunzo. Let's put wow. everything away. <laughs> Try the uh, Katura wine, babe. So is our wine room temperature or do we chill it? We don't chill uh, wine. We actually even drink room temperature beer when we do. Art is appalled when we do that. Yeah, that's disgusting and absurd. <laughs> <laughs> Very strong reaction from ATA. Room temperature Guinness. Ugh. We love that, actually. Room temperature Guinness. All right, last batch of frites are coming out. Sweet tater frites. Shake off the excess. A little bit of salt. A little bit of spice rub with that brown sugar. You're my sugar. Check out this mound, you guys. How bad do you wish you were here right now? I wish you guys were here too, because you can help me clean up. Oh, look at this. Ooh, doggy, right? Come on, look at that. Maggie, Lyra, Cynthia, open up. This one's for you. Huh? Okay. Mmm, Jesse, try that. And they're staying nice and mm -hmm. crispy in here. Wow. This is heaven. Yeah, Courtney, avoid processed foods. Um, and, wow. Um, you know what? There's a cool um, book called Beautiful Babies. It's a nutrition Amazing, for, Courtney. Amazing. Um, ferti uh, fertility and pregnancy. And it's basically mean the same advice as the paleo diet. But it just kind of explains to you what are those superfoods, what are those like nutritiously dense foods that you want to eat uh, while you are um, trying to get pregnant or, or you're pregnant. Uh, so... Yeah, Courtney, once again, thank you for the super chat again. The stupid doctor has told her that she couldn't get pregnant. First really? baby in 13 years. And, oh, but she was, but uh, little did she know she was already pregnant. Healthy eating. Yeah, baby. Healthy eating, taking care of your body. That's what I love to hear. Courtney, you're the best. Awesome. Absolutely, mm. Courtney. Uh, there's foods that can reverse fertility issues. So, um, yeah, uh, look for those foods. Um, you know, uh, delicious oily uh, fish, um, caviar, um, liver, okay. things like that, that are rich in iron, because you're going to need a lot of iron and blood in your body now that you're growing a baby. Uh, your blood is going to, your body is going to need so much extra blood and iron. You're in the oven on, do you? It's been on for the whole time. For what? <laughs> I don't know. Your you, forgot, you forgot you're, we're not baking them. Yeah, because your time. recipe said 375. What was that timer for now? That's not a timer. Oh, it's for the mini oven here, the warmer. What's okay. going on? Let's fry those right. uh, donuts. Fry some more. Okay. You can hold the camera and I'll, and I'll, and I'll uh, drop them in there, baby. Sure. You want to switch microphones? No. No? Okay, here we go. Let's double check that the temperature is up to the right degree three what's actually high right now 386 i did turn the temperature down 
right? But now Desi is gonna start frying. And we haven't made too much of a mess, you guys. This is nothing. Now, once Art Wait, comes back and we set up a mesh network for Wi-Fi, we'll do this kind of stuff outside. It'll be much cleaner. Nice, Georgie boy. So shall we wait a little bit? Or no, what? I would just drop. You would drop? Drop I it like it's hot. Burn. Yeah, it is, it is uh, organic, Chase. So I just uh, added some avocado oil in this little bowl here. I'm gonna get my hands oily so that I can form those donuts and they won't stick to my hands. I get the spoon oily too so that when I grab a little bit of of the dough, it won't stick. See? It doesn't nice. stick. Art, Art does love his rocket. Now, I'm going to roll it into a bowl. I'm going to drop it. Hmm? Exciting. All right. It's really important to maintain the temperature of the heat. It gets too low, you got to wait and bring it back up. It gets too high, you got to take it off the heat for a few minutes. Yeah, raw cheese is allowed, Taylor, as long as it's aged a minimum of, I think, uh, a couple months. Now, this re none of these recipes are in the cookbook. We're just totally winging these, but also our cookbook is keto, so nothing but the burger is uh, keto tonight. Look at those guys. They're just flipping around. Yeah. How do you know when they're done? That's my question. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, do you have a timer, Bebo? Uh, yeah. You can also take the temperature of them. Of the donut? How, you if you guys had to guess, how long should these fry for? What do you think, Art? You're a big baker. Yeah. How long should the what? The donuts fry for. Till the GBD. G it's hard to tell because the batter is so uh, GBD already. <laughs> I guess you have to uh, give it a little bit of a push test, maybe, too. Mm. They do. They look like munchkins from Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, they're very easy Time to form, to you guys. When your hands are oily, very easy to form. Well, some people saying 15 minutes, 20 minutes. That's way too oh, much, that's I think. way too long. Yeah. I'd say probably three to five minutes. Wow, lo guys lots of guesses right. here. Two minutes, five minutes, three minutes. You guys are all over the place. Yeah. I would put maybe one more in. And that's it. And we got to rotate them too. Look, they're spinning by themselves. They're spinning by themselves, Bebo. You spin me right Look around, baby, right around. They're the perfect donuts. Yeah, so Courtney, oh, Courtney, oh thank God, you so I much. Love that. What is the substitute for brown sugar? I need to know because I need to bake the one we're using right now, Courtney. The Sucrin brown sugar. Oh my God, this is really funny. <laughs> I'll show you in a minute. It's the uh, keto brown sugar, it's a uh, completely uh, sugar alcohol. Zero carb. It's fantastic. Where's the spider, Bebo? I'm gonna need it. Uh, in the sink, maybe? It's all good. Love that spider. Can you grab me a plate or something so we can put them on it? Yes. Wanna... My hands are oily. Yes, my dear. We'll give you this plate here. And then I'll put some paper towel on there to all wick right, away. Thank you. Wick it away, wick it away now. This is it, Courtney. Just go on uh, Amazon or my Amazon shop page. It's Sucrin Brown Sugar. It's soft and packable like real brown sugar. It's fantastic. All right. I think we have one that's pretty dark, you but we so? should we'll take it out and test it out. Huh? Sure. This is the one I put in the beginning. Okay. It's really tough to tell. I guess we got to sacrifice we it. Can, we can put a prop thermometer. Uh, true. Right? <laughs> Tommy, I've actually never eaten a Johnny Rockets, Tommy. Are they hmm? still around? I don't know. Want to do a probe or just rip it open? Might be easier just to cut it open, to be honest, cut instead of get, getting something else dirty. Oh, well, my hand. Okay, can you grab a knife or something? Grab me a knife. No, okay. actually, I'll grab it. All right. Aren't it too hot to cut in? I don't think so. I just, it's a tester one. I right, will sacrificing this one, you guys. Yeah. A hot to the gods. Kelly P, ten dollars. Wanted to support your channel since uh, my not, feed not the cook yet. Not, not cook, cook yet. it's raw. Ooh. Feed the fight donation didn't go through. Oh, it's all right. Oh, thank you, Kelly. You're so sweet. So yeah, see, it's raw in the middle. So I think that needs another. It's very raw. Do we need no, to turn on it? No, no, no. Just Do it anyway. When in doubt, check the temperature of the oil. It's fine. It's recovering back up. How many minutes was that? Let's see. Put the first one. Oh, that was three minutes. So let's put another two minutes on here. Right. 
All right. Oh, very exciting. And don't forget, we still have the burgers chilling in the fridge. We got to keep them cold. They're dry aged bone marrow burgers, grass fed. Absolutely going to be epic. We're going to cook them in a cast iron pan. We're going to put some raw. Let me show you. I got some raw cheddar cheese here, you guys. So burgers are chilling right there. I got some raw Midwest cheddar cheese. We're going to grate on there. And then I'm going to use the bun. I'm going to make the cauliflower uh, warm up. I should say the cauliflower sandwich thins here. Those will be my bun. Very, very simple. A little bit of secret sauce. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go overboard and do like uh, a lot of toppings and stuff like that. Bobby, how many letters came with that new magnet board? Um, a bag full, but to be honest, we need more because I can't. I'm running low on certain vowels and hashtags and stuff like that. And the Bobby approved was uh, custom made. Uh, so in the meantime, you guys, my pantry staples bundle from Thrive Market is in the description box. Just go right below the video. Not only click the link, but when you do that, if you sign up for an annual membership, it's going to give you a $20 shopping credit. It goes straight to my bundle once you log in. And uh, you'll get a, up to a $20 shopping credit. Shipping times are delayed, but they are doing their best. And if you have been impacted by COVID financially or... Uh, Health-wise, just email in the description box, and they might be able to give you a stipend, a credit, or a free membership. But definitely support Thrive, you guys. They're a fantastic company, and the box comes to your door. You don't have to go to the grocery store at all. I would check out the pasture-raised pork bundle for their uh, bacon. It's unbelievable. Of course it does, Taylor. Grocery shopping is a definite write-off. It's a, one of the perks to my job, because I spend a lot of money grocery shopping. All right. There was an out of two minutes. Do you think... I don't know. It looks pretty dark. We should take one out. Yeah. Rachel, my girl Rachel from San Murray. Quentin. What are you going to season your burgers with? Are you going to do any cooking videos this weekend, Sunday dinner? Uh, probably no live streams this weekend. And I'm just doing salt and pepper on my burgers. That's it. I keep it very, very simple. Do we have to sacrifice this weekend? I guess we do. I hope it's done because they're getting a little dark. Okay. Looks like a lump of coal now. <laughs> It smells like a carnival, actually. Let's see. Ow, hot. Hey, uh, I think it's pretty good. That's done. You think? Yeah, these are done. Let me just one more minute. Not even a minute. What do you guys think? Look inside. Uh, I think it is just a tiny bit. 30 more seconds? Oh, easy now. Too many balls in the oil. <laughs> Said no one ever. Sweaty balls. <laughs> we, oh, you didn't put one on South Park salt, or chef salty chocolate balls. That's right. It says it looks done to me. How's it taste? Tastes very good. Maybe the balls are too big. Mm -hmm. I can make small ones. Smaller balls in your mouth might be better. <laughs> All right. Mmm. Oh, very tasty. Take them I'll out. take them out. They good? No, it's very tasty. It's very good, you guys. Nice. I love that, Charlene. All right. Smaller, sweaty more. balls. Let's do s smaller, sweaty balls. All right. They're good, you guys. Very, very tasty. What's going on? Did I miss something? Danielle? What's going on, Danielle? Is she sick? Oh, uh, yeah. We are doing some preliminary recipe testing for our second book, which uh, we got to get cranking on. We only have three, four months to finish it now. Art, you gotta be here for that. We can't do it by ourselves. Oh, he's got to. Say a little louder. We can't do the book without you. You need to come help. Oh, yeah. I heard it loud and clear. 10 <laughs> 4. I'm there. 10 4. <laughs> Nancy. Yeah, we got, we got powdered hey, sugar. Put some, put some timer on there. We got keto powdered sugar. How much? Five minutes? Yeah. I'm gonna start preheating the pan for the. Uh, Burgers, too. We got keto powdered sugar. Oh, yeah. oh careful. Oh, rip, rip it off. Go oh. cold water. Oh. Very cold water. Careful. Uh, question from TV. What did you soak the sweet potato fries in before you fry them? Uh, tapioca starch and water. A very loose slurry. Marcy, you guys are so fun to watch. 
I'm Gaga for oh, Rose. Careful, you guys, with the. I was blessed cut. with three boys. I love that. Yeah, be careful when you're frying. This ain't a uh, play kitchen. This is real. Cutthroat kitchen. <laughs> TJ Cruiser, thank you very much. Nine ninety nine super chat with a fox going. Tamo arigato, Mr. Rato. Shall I save these few? Oh no, I just finished them, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna move this so I can start preheating my, my pan for the burgers. These are probably the most special burgers in town. Locally sourced from a Midwest farm. You burn your finger? Yeah. Did it splash up on your finger? No, I think I dipped it. You dipped your finger in yeah. the oil? Oy vezmer. I was being very uh, you know, brazen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last one, you guys. Last sweaty ball. Use the spoon. Use the spoon. Okay, I think. Oh, I Daniel's grandparents! Like, uh, oh, terrible. I think I should put like some. Uh, what my parents used to put for a burn is um, lard. Lard on your L finger? Lard, yeah. We have lard. R wrap my finger in lard. Tonight when you're sleeping, you mean? Right away. Right now. Well, Daniel, his grandfather and his father passed away? Oh my God. From COVID? From COVID? Oh, that's Wow. Terrible. That's horrible. Oh my God, that's terrible, you guys. Uh oh, I'm looking where, where do you see that? Um, uh, that's just what someone said. Man, that's awful. That's horrible. I gotta put my finger in something cold water or something. Give me some ice. Let me see your finger. Let's show it to the crowd here. You can crowd I mean, you can't really see. This no, thank you for giving us the finger. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some ice, Bebo. Down yonder. Oof. It's very, it's very tiny, you know. It's a tiny injury. Tiny but, bubbles? Uh, the fingers have a lot of nerve endings. So it really hurts. Wow. Burned fingers, choking <laughs> babies. My God. Today you got a show, you guys. <laughs> Today you got the full program. It's worth the price of admission, which is free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, Kathy. Any other remedies for a burned finger? Yes, can you recommend? I heard if you do the dishes with a burnt finger, uh -huh. it heals them. Have you guys heard that before? This one's so good. Mm. All these dones are so dark. Think lukewarm, so funny. lukewarm water is better than cold water. Yeah, probably. Really? Cold water is going to blister it more, right? I don't know. It just hurts. It feels better in the cold water. Ah. Yeah, I what, mean, whatever I mean, numbs it, the pain. It feels better with the Here, cold drink some water. wine. Wine really helps for that, I heard. Oh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> A lot of people saying, uh, don't put lard on there. Don't, don't put, put lard. Don't put anything greasy on a burn. It will hold the heat. Use lavender. Okay, I have lavender, lavender oil. Lavender oil. I'm here seeing a lot of lavender oil. Okay, thank you guys. Wow. I have lavender. You oil. gotta release the devil. The devil's trying to get out, and the lard will keep it in. It's very tiny. You gotta guys. get that devil out of the fire. Gotta get that devil out of here. Aloe vera <laughs> too. Oh, we have aloe vera. Uh, do we have it? Oh, uh, we have the gel. Yeah, yeah, The yeah. gel from uh, Curacao. Oh, okay, great. There's we a great... Windex Good on call, it. you guys. Uh, yeah, aloe vera. Good call, you guys. No Windex art. All right, we have some really dark ones. We should pop, probably pop them out. Okay. Want me to do it for you? Here. Let's just switch. It's all right. I think, I think this one's done. These two, all oh, they're pretty oh, dark. Those are pretty dark. Or they were small, that's why. But keep in mind also the batter is very dark as is. You just cover that in the uh, keto powdered sugar and the, uh, or the coconut sugar, cinnamon coconut sugar. Yeah, that was about five minutes, so. Huh? Yeah, a lot of lavender says here. Lavender, if you go, thank you guys. What's the plan for one million? I would just do a live stream. I don't want to make too big of a deal of it. It's taking a long time now because not a lot of people are watching our videos as much because no one wants healthy videos now. They just want to eat pizza and bake. Well, some of these do so our viewership has actually gone down since the quarantine. <laughs> I think they're all done, sweetie. All right. I would just yank them. Let's kill the heat here. All right, you guys. Beauty. Donuts are done. 
All right, I'll take care of that. Let's, let's wait. You go take a seat over there. I gotta get some lavender. Hmm? Get some, go get some lavender. Here, I'm gonna put the thing down here. Okay. We'll hang out together, me and our friends. I'll take one more sip of the wine then, Desi. Leave it there, it's fine. Just take your uh, thing off. And you I'm put going it up to- here, no? Uh, so they can see better. Yeah, sure. I'm going to just get things ready for the burger, right? This is very good eats worthy, right? So burger, I'm gonna use a cast iron pan. But Art, what's the rule about using cast iron? Gotta let it heat up slowly. Slowly, right? So I think nothing sears a burger or meat or retains heat like cast iron, but it's a little slow, like me in school when I was in math, right? So you gotta let it's not it. It's a good conductor of heat. Yeah, it's not a good conductor of heat, but once it gets hot, it's gonna retain that heat very well. Um, so I'll let that come to temperature. And because my burgers, you guys, are very thick. So I normally actually kick, cook thin burgers, but these came from the butcher very thick like this. And I wanna cook it like that. Meaning what happens are if my temperature is like the way I normally do it, medium high, and the burgers are this thick. What's gonna happen if I cook these in a very hot pan the way I normally do when they're this thick? Oh, you're gonna get a nice uh, char on the outside, but the inside's not gonna cook enough. Exactly. I actually have to do this at a lower temperature, which I don't mind because it won't make as much of a mess in here. Because I want them to get equally brown around, but cook through to... I like a mid-rare burger. What about you guys? So knowing that, my pan actually might be there already. I'm gonna cook them. This is my favorite ghee ever, in case you haven't heard me say it before. The Thrive Market organic grass-fed ghee is the bomb. I'm gonna put just a little bit. You don't need that much, right? Because the fat from the burger is gonna rend out, render out. Now I'm using this beautiful, this is Celtic sea salt. It's very chunky and flaky and great for meat. Meat lo loves beef, right Art? Oh yeah. <laughs> So I'll pack that in and then I'll take, beef loves beef. that's what I know, that's a joke because I, I said that one time on a video. Yeah. I was trying to say beef loves salt and I'm like beef loves meat. And then I'll take the burgers here and just put them season side down. I'll do a little smash, just a little bit. These are huge burgers, I'm very excited, right? And then I saw a long time ago on Food Network, Bobby Flay always said, take a finger and put a dimple in the middle. And that'll help the burger not blow up like a balloon. And then I'll take a little more salt with my clean hand here. And that salt's gonna sear into the crust. It's gonna be beautiful. And I'll wash my finger behind Desi. Yep. You know, uh, I put the aloe vera, I felt a relief immediately, but then it started burning again. So I'm Put it and call it in this cold water. It's the devil, uh, I'm telling with you. With a little bit of, uh, you know. That's the devil jumping out. The cold water is good. Lavender. I think I was thinking of uh, frostbite. You don't want to put your hand in hot water for that. Ah. Okay, yeah. so burgers are cooking. Someone I says no ice. Okay, guys, you're really confusing me. Huh. <laughs> I've been with that. Okay, take a seat. I want you to rest. Toothpaste. Go rest. Lavender says. Toothpaste is I good. Flour. Somebody said flour. Really? Flour? Now? Roll your finger in flour. Oh, we got to making stuff up at this uh, point. I don't know. We got a super chat from Ian Ball Rajin Day. Found you guys about a month ago after our stay at home order. Have been enjoying watching and learning a lot. Love to hear that. Here's the funny thing when the stay at home order started, I'm like, wow, our viewership should probably explode because everyone's going to be home. It went like this. And then as soon as the stay at home order, it fell like a cliff. Ever since January, we've been growing like crazy and it fell off a cliff. And I talked to my other friends who are healthy creators like Thomas DeLauer, the same thing happened. And we're like, oh wow, well it makes sense. People don't want healthy stuff now. They don't wanna learn about healthy stuff at the grocery store. They wanna bake pizza, cookies, everything. So I'm hoping once this is over and life goes back to semi-normal, things will go back because the channel, the views, the traffic to our website has literally just gone down because people don't want the healthy stuff, which has been kind of a bummer because we were on pace for a million to hit like now but then my subs got almost more than halved every day because of that. It's crazy. What do you guys do for a living? This right here, that's what this. we do for a living. Yes, so someone asked a question earlier, like do you make money every time a video is uploaded? No, 
The amount of subscribers you have doesn't even matter for money. The only way you make money on YouTube every day is from views. YouTube takes care of putting ads before the video. So the more views you get, the more money you make. So even though you might have a million subs, if your videos don't get a lot of views, you're not gonna make money. So the goal is to make videos that you guys love, but also keep attracting a new crowd. And then if I do a sponsorship like Thrive Market, it's really because of sponsors like Thrive and Primal Kitchen that this channel can do what we do, right? We do it full time. So that's the primary source of income. The other primary source of income is ads on our blog. A lot of people will search keto recipes, low carb recipes, and our blog recipes will pop up. That generates a lot of ad revenue. I used to make some decent money from my Amazon affiliate uh, links, but then Amazon, like I said, they just cut the commissions down to like 1% from 8% because they're being greedy. But yeah, YouTube, you really have to get viewership. If you're not getting a lot of views, like when I do a video about Costco, Trader Joe's, Walmart, Dollar Tree, they reach a lot of people. YouTube will suggest it to people they think might like it and they come to it. And if they don't, then uh, that's how views go down. And that's what's been happening lately. People just aren't interested in healthy this, uh, the best uh, healthy ingredients. They just want baking and whatnot. So that's a little insight into how it works here. I have to actually cook these uh, buns. So let me put that oven back on. So fries are done. Fries look unbelievable. I can't get all this. Probably one of the coolest things I've made. Donuts are done. And then for the buns for the burger, we're going to use the cauliflower sandwich thins. Very cool company. Available in the grocery store now. It's basically cauliflower, Parmesan cheese, and uh, nutritional yeast. Only two grams of net carbs per. Tommy Dalton, I would have downed half of that bottle of Berman. Generally, I don't feel the burn after that. I'm a lightweight dude. I'd be hammered right now. <laughs> She's tell he's telling me, you know what? By the time the bourbon hits me, <laughs> uh, I'm going to do more damage. Desi and I are and lightweights. Are you going to have a bun or no, Ben? No bun. No bun for Desi. So we'll do bun, burger, with a cheese. Where do you get those? Um, either on their website, Outer Isle, or uh, at... Whole Foods has them too. Very, very good. I've been trying to tell them to sponsor a YouTube video, but they haven't bit yet. So we don't eat dairy very often, but this is raw milk. You got me a little bit. So unpasteurized I'm cheddar cheese from that company, Local Foods. I'm going to grate this over the burgers for the last Each couple of minutes. <clears throat> and I'm going to put an ice cube. I might do an ice, the ice cube trick. Have you guys seen my ice cube trick where you put a grated cheese on top of the burger? Two ice cubes, I've seen it many times, and then a lid on the pan and the condensation or the steam from the uh, ice cubes helps melt the cheese. Art's all about steam, oh, right? In the Palisade, Colorado, uh, due to the three nights of free stamps, they have lost 95% of the peach crop. Oh, no! Oh, oh no. that's terrible. Wow, this cheddar cheese is the bomb. Mm. Flyboy. Flyboy. Bobby, the Three Twins ice cream shut down their business today. I praised you in an email I sent to the CEO thanking him for 15 years. What? They closed for business, Three Twins? Oh, man, they make the best uh, low-sugar ice cream, the uh, Slim Twins. Oh, that's horrible. Wow. That's crazy. No, our, our power bill isn't very high, but our gas bill is because the wow. heat is always on here. This this cheese is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Is it raw, you said? Yeah. Like I said. Yeah, if you eat cheese, eat it raw for sure. The burgers and the cheese are from that company in Chicago, Local Foods. They get locally sourced, pasture-raised, wild, grass-fed stuff. It's amazing. My girl, Jill. Keep it up, Bobby. Bice I did my bicep curls today. Looking a little better. Hey, Art, did uh, the governor talk about reopening the uh, state today? Uh, I didn't pay much attention. Ah. I'm dying to get back in the gym, you guys. Literally dying. So is yeah. Desi. And that's fine if they make it where you got to get your temperature scanned and book an appointment because they can't have more than 50 people there. I'm fine with that. You want this on your burger, don't you, Ben? Uh, no, actually, I prefer to eat it like that. Really? Okay. This cheese is unbelievable. That's enough cheese. 
Wow. Okay, you guys, I got it. Nothing oily. I'm not going to put anything oily on my finger. I get it. I'm going to put aloe vera and a lavender oil and tea tree oil. Thank you, guys. I'm going to flip these burgers now. The first flip. Looking good so far. I'll show you later on. And I like the fact that we're really controlling the temperature of the pan. So I have a really nice sear on here. Let me show you guys real quick. Well, let me come over. <laughs> Sorry, I can, uh, my legs still work. <laughs> See? You got a really nice sear on there. Oh, yeah. Now, ideally I would do these outside because it does smell and splatter. And I have that portable gas burner that's on my Amazon shop page. And Art and I will usually go out there and we'll do Instagram stories about that. But I can't do it because the Wi-Fi doesn't work out there. Honey, honey, put on the finger? Okay. Well, if I just take my finger out of the cold water, the pain starts running up my hand. So it's pretty bad, you guys. It's bad. Uh, the, here, look at this cheese. Where's it from? Give me some more cheese, babe. Sure. Have cheese and wine. Yeah. This is from I, I Appleton, yeah. Wisconsin. Dirk, you know these guys? Red Barn. Try this, babe. Red Barn, like Rose's favorite book. Dr. Bob says do a piece of cheese and a shot of no, wine. Dr. Bob, thank you. I mean, oh, okay. I, have, I need a third hand, you guys. Here, a shot of wine. Dirk, Appleton, Wisconsin. Raw cheese has to be aged. I believe this is aged for 60 days. I think that's the minimum. But it's not pasteurized. So this has more nutrients in there than pasteurized cheese. And I do have some ice packs in the freezer, so I'm going to have to wrap my finger with that. Dad will take care of you. You don't worry about it. After he cleans the kitchen. Uh, burger. Secret sauce. Ketchup. We'll keep it really easy. And cheese. Normally I do caramelized onions, but we've done enough cooking. What is Art going to eat for dinner? Do you know yet or no? I don't know yet. I'll figure that out afterward. Wow. I'm, I'm realizing here, like, hey, another an hour and 15 minutes, we can have a bolognese. Ha! <laughs> it might feel like a Luminati's night, I feel like, for you. This could be a test run. This could be like a test run for when you eventually do the three-hour bolognese because it's going to be a two-hour thing by the time it's all done. <laughs> if I order you a Lou Malnati's pizza right now, will you eat it? Sure. All right. We're going to order a d delivery or pickup for Art. I'm, I don't feel like pizza tonight. You don't want pizza? <laughs> I was going to order it right now. All right. I'm getting a blister, yes. <laughs> I am getting a blister, you guys. Who, who turns down free pizza? That's crazy. Insane. Insane in the membrane. Say it in the break. Jill and Pat in Florida. Doing well. I hope you have a great time down in Florida. Stay safe. Nice. Pontevero is drinking Castellani Pinot Grigio. My girl Shaw Troyer from Michigan. How's it going with you and the hubby and the and the dog, Shaw in Michigan? Nice, Ali. I'd love to hear that. No, she's not going to have to see a doctor. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Ain't no doctor going to want to see her when there's like COVID patients coming in left and right. I don't know. You guys, Mr. Optimistic, who's been optimistic from the get-go, things are looking good, right? We're seeing better numbers every day. We got those numbers from Gilead last night that their drug for treating Corona is looking good. The curve keeps going down. The cases keep going down. Raise your hand if you're on my team optimistic now, right? How are you guys feeling? I'm feeling really good about it. I think... We're going to reopen sooner than later. Things will be really good. Uh, you know, not a V-shaped recovery, but not too bad. I think Q4 is going to be really, really good, but I'm optimistic. Rebecca's optimistic. Yeah, I love to hear that. Char is. Yeah, Livra is. See? Even, I know a lot of you guys, it was 80%, very pessimistic two weeks ago. And I'm like, guys, I have a good feeling here. We're staying at home. We're crushing the curve. I feel really good about it. How are you feeling all right now about that? You're muted, Art. You're muted. I can't hear you. <laughs> You're muted, Art. <laughs> you are on mute. Yeah, it's bad in New York and New Jersey, but Sorry. it's getting better. Your part, we'll get through it. I don't get too uh, predictive. Ah, okay, Art wants to stay out of that. Uh, the Keto Friendly Wine. Yeah, they'll sponsor some more content soon, but it's Seco Wine Club. Uh, how can you keep raspberries longer? Raspberries, blueberries, blackberries. As soon as you get home from the market, put them in cold water, like a little bowl, with about 
a quarter cup of white vinegar. Stir it up, let it sit for 15 minutes. The vinegar kills the bacteria and the microbes. Take it out, rinse it, dry it. It'll keep an extra three or four days in your fridge because those bacteria aren't hum, 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 eating and uh, destroying the fruit. Yeah, I'm optimistic, Tom, yeah. All right, let's see how these burgers are doing. So, they, they, they look amazing, you guys. But here's the deal, Whoa, they're very huge. thick, so I don't know the internal temperature. Do you think I should poke it with a uh, probe thermometer, Art? Yeah. Uh, it doesn't hurt. I hate, I hate to let the juices out, but I don't want to overcook it. I probably have to put the, uh, the cheese on. It might be too late for that, actually. Let's see. I'm just going to poke this guy right in the middle. I might have missed my window of opportunity for the cheese. We're at one... Oh, we're pretty early. 128. These are really good burgers. I can probably pull these at like 145. So what I'm going to do now... It's actually perfect timing. I'm going to take my cheese. I'm going to put it on the burger like this, right? And then what I, here's what I'm going to do, right? I'm going to go down here, grab a couple ice cubes. I hope that cheese doesn't upset my stomach because I... You don't really want to cook the raw cheese, do you? <laughs> well, I have to for a burger, you guys. And then I just take a, a lid or a sheet tray and cover it now. And the steam, watch what happens. Take a picture of that cheese now, and then we'll come back to it. I need some ice also. Before yes. and after. I actually saw that on Food Network so many years ago from Bobby Flay, who's like the Burger King. Burger King? <laughs> Is it hurting a lot? Yikes. Go take a seat over there. Take a seat. Desi needs some more. GG juice over here. How long is this live stream so far, y'all? Oh, well, 106 minutes. An hour and 50 minutes. Uh, that's not bad. I'm not getting, you guys getting tired? I ain't getting tired. I think you're ready for that three hour rolling. It's just crazy <laughs> today, man. Imagine we went back to back. All right. It's time for Rose to have uh, her milk and everything. Uh, uh, yeah, it's getting close there. <laughs> what about wine and breastfeeding? Oh, Desi just has a few sips, but you can still do Don't it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry <laughs> about it. That's what Desi says. Forget about it. We got New Zealand here. Um, so once again, uh, if you haven't done so yet, we have 1,500 people on. Leave a comment down below. We're in the home stretch. We got we mini... We haven't dusted the donuts yet. We got mini donuts about to be dusted. We have... Uh, a big mountain of sweet potato fries. We got grass-fed, dry-aged bone marrow burgers going here. They took the bone marrow, they scraped it out, they chilled it, they grated it, and they folded it into the dry-aged grass-fed beef over at Local Foods. And once again, if you haven't checked out Thrive Market yet, they're the biggest supporter of our channel. They pretty much make it so I can do this full-time for a living. In the description box down below is my promo code. Uh, sign up for a year-long membership. Um, and if you, when you do that, you get a $20 shopping credit, but they're fair. If they're like, hey, you do it for 30 days and you don't like it, you'll get your annual membership back, but you keep your $20 shopping credit. And I curated the Healthy Pantry Bundle. When you click that link and sign up, it'll show you my favorite Healthy Pantry stuff like cacao powder, coconut milk, coconut... Oh, Art, I dropped Art! Oh, no! Poor Art! <laughs> Is Art okay? And he's frozen. Look, <laughs> he froze. Art, Art. Come back. <laughs> oh my God, that was hilarious. Sorry, Art. <laughs> so, guys, check out the promo link in the description box. They are a big supporter of the channel. Um, very, very good stuff. It might be closed now because they're getting such popular demand. Just wait till tomorrow and check them out. So, Desi, come over here again, real quick. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Do you remember? Do you remember what it looked like two minutes ago? Now look. Oh, enrobed. enrobed. That is the definition of enrobed. Thank you, Desi. Now, let's see what, what temperature the burgers are. And also, the uh, ice cube adds a little bit of moisture, which prevents the burgers from drying out. And the burgers are now one. Perfect. Look at this. Perfect. The plan is working. Ooh, 145. I'm going to pull that. So, Art, even though it's technically below the temperature I want, what happens when I pull it now? 
Well, Bobby, rumor has it there's a thing called carryover cooking. Maybe you can explain. Yes, there's carryover cooking. When you take something out of a pan or an oven, it doesn't stop cooking. See all that heat in there? It's going to carry over another three to five degrees. And the bigger the meat is, like a roast, the more it'll carry over. So just like a steak, I would let that rest. Take a little snooze right now so it doesn't leak the juices everywhere. In the meantime, I'm warming. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. Go ahead. Up Dumpty, maybe we need some, uh, some uh, help here from the crowd. What should I do about the uh, bruises I just suffered from falling off the counter? <laughs> Actually, the iPad hit my shin and it really hurts now. <laughs> oh my God. What, what else is going to happen in this live stream? <laughs> We're really cooking here, we baby. Don't, we don't need any more don't, accidents. Don't ice it. Don't ice it. Ooh, lots of cleanup. Who's coming over to clean? I got lots of fries for y'all. Okay, let's ice your donuts, no? Ice them, yeah. All Everything right. is being iced right now. All right, so let, I'm going to go in the closet here and get the keto powdered sugar. From well, I don't want keto powdered sugar on mine. Just on a couple, just to show the difference. And then, so this is powdered keto powdered sugar. It's basically the keto uh, monk fruit sweetener, powderized, right? So you would just take this. I like how it's just sitting there open in the pantry. Jill, my girl, Jill Chopsky tonight has been quite an experience. <laughs> yes, it has, Jill. Stick around. Yes, it has. Yeah, so all of us are going down and it's your turn next, Bobby. <laughs> Oh, Duel, I have a feeling your whole family's going down. <laughs> oh, Doyle. Doyle, oh, Doyle. So this, Doyle. Right? So this is keto, even though the donuts aren't. You would just take this, you would just dust it over a few of these donuts here. And that's how you do a sugar-free icing right there, just like that. Right? But what are we doing for you, Desi? What do you want to ice uh, with? I want cinnamon and... Mmm. Uh, that's great. Stacy Schnell, $5. Stacy! Wow, looking perfect, baby. It's actually very, very tasty. Wow. Good to see you guys. We have to get on the ball with our health. Happy Friday, guys. Hello to Miss Sweet Rose. Thank you from New Jersey. Stay safe there. That is delicious. Now, you want to do coconut sugar and cinnamon? Yeah. Okay, so let me get a little bit of cow cow. A little coconut. I think it'd be better if you pulverize the coconut. It's all right, just roll them. So coconut there, cinnamon -n 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 here. Okay. I mean, these are paleo dons yet, and the, the texture, babe, come on. No, it's like a pillow. It's, my, it's mypillow.com is what it is, Art. Right. <laughs> it's That's the, my place in the whole wide world. It's the culinary MyPillow. And then I'll use the same sifter that I used before. I'll just shimmy it over here. Look at that. Come on, guys. Oh, it smells so good. This is healthy-ish baking, which is the name of the live stream tonight. Oh, it smells amazing. Denny M, 9 dollars just because. Oh, Denny, you're so sweet. Look at that. Now, hold on. I'm going to do a mix. There's a half and half on this one. So there's... Let's see here. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That is good. Oh my God, that's you nailed it. Boom! That's the, this yourself. Is that uh, blog worthy, babe? For sure. That's blog worthy. Yeah, we'll city. post it, you guys. Wow. I've been trying to make something bready like that, like that texture. I've been trying to achieve it, and I think we did it. It's a very versatile dough. I think, we did, dough. I think I mean, we did it. I'll drink to that. Let me let me try one, but I gotta try one. Who's stopping you, sister? I ain't stopping you. Oh, wow. Crazy, right? Oh, yeah. Totally. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Light, airy, soft, and a lot of flavor in there. Check this out, Desso. A little bit of secret sauce goes in the bottom. Take my... This is the most epic cheeseburger I dare say anyone's eating in America tonight. There's no way someone's eating a burger better than that. Right, then I cut it there, and then just to show you how it looks inside. Look at that. Oh my wow. god! Oh, ho, 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 ho. Wow. That is redonk a donk. Mid rare, just like I like, and I know it's super high quality beef. How do you guys think that looked? Done, undercooked, or overcooked for your liking? For me, it's perfection. Let's try it right now. Oh my god. 
Holy cow. You guys. Grass fed bone marrow burger. Dry age. Oh, I have never had a burger this good in my life. <laughs> wow. Mmm. Oh, my cheese. Better than the burger you had at Rocket before the Cubs game, Art. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm not gonna explain that one. This is not Mickey D's, you guys. You don't want to cook through. That is amazing. Absolutely epic. Holy schnollies. That is grand. You gotta try a bite. Bobby, uh, Tom Dolphin thinks you overcooked it. He likes his bleeding. Are you serious? I think you're the only <laughs> one. The only one for would sure. say that, Everybody's Tommy boy. That's hilarious. Art likes a rare steak too, but no. You guys, don't be scared when you see that kind of meat. Hey, cook it longer. It's totally up to you. For me, that's perfection. Woo! I mean, look at that. We got donuts. Oh, and the fries, the fries, the fries, right? Look at this. Oh my God, Donna Tyler. Let me just show you. $49.99. Donna! Oh my just God. Support a Donna, Summer Donna. Donna. Mad. Are you guys the best? Donna, this is for you right here. I'm allowing you to partake in my mountain of fries oh here now. Oh my God, look at his face. Right? I'm allowing you to partake. Whole, and Livra, and Maggie, and Becca, and uh, Brielle, and Chris. Look at this, you guys. Oh my God. Uh, Maggie B says, Pete Desi, she's down to nine Ooh. fingers. <laughs> you ready to try this, Ben? Nine fingers? Come on, nine fingers. Oh my God, yeah, I know you guys. Uh, as soon as I take it out of the water, it hurts really bad. I don't know how I'm gonna sleep. If you can't eat your burger. Did you stick it in the oil or is there oil on the donut? No, she, stick, she stuck it in the actual pot of oil. Oh, oh. I couldn't see it on my end. All right. Just try Should it. Should I try yours? Though? Try a bite of mine. It's totally fine. All right. Okay. Here we go, guys. <laughs> I've gained two pounds. Oh, wow. Mmm. Wow. That burger, babe? Yep. The meat is so flavorful. I mean, it's probably the bone marrow. It's very juicy. And um, I think they think thought of a very great combo because grass yes. is usually a little dry. Yes. But when you add the bone marrow, it adds that fatness and fatty flavor yes so that's perfection and the keto uh thin Amazing. perfect for this I mean, Amazing. perfect oh my god yeah you don't need a starchy bun no, no way. way Jose. and then the cheese yeah but i need my pickles for this oh the pickles and i need a fry to dip yes, it in right. the sauce Frit. this is heaven you guys amanda esposito what do you think mm. about simple mills product they are paleo but unfortunately, they use sunflower oil with a lot of their ch uh, crackers, and it's not expelled or pressed from what I understand. So I'd rather you go with like uh, Mary's Gone Crackers. The bun. Right? The buns are from uh, Outer Isle. Go to their website or check Whole Foods, Outer Isle. Can't wait to enjoy this, babe. Oh, my God. But look at this donut. This is, this is a donut, babe, right? That's a donut. This Here. is a donut. Cheers, everyone. Cheers, you guys. Love you. Happy Friday. <laughs> and hep. And have. Happy, happy, happy weekend, and I'm celebrating Easter this weekend because it's uh, Eastern Orthodox um, Easter in Bulgaria, so I'll be celebrating that. We'll be coloring eggs tomorrow. Yep. I'm uh, having some lamb on Sunday, so cheers to that, and good night. Good night. <laughs> All right, should we get roast quick, real quick or no? Rose is playing with Lily. Um, guys, amazing time. That was super fun. I mean, it's not very often in this kitchen we make burgers fries, donuts, and deep fried fingers too. But we did it all, right? So Art had a great time. Rose and I and Desi had a great time. Lily had a great time. Uh, we will see you next week. We'll do Monday, Wednesday, Friday again. Tomorrow is a Trader Joe's video. Sunday, I don't know yet. I haven't filmed the video, but we'll get around to it. Um, Desi's gonna soak it in lavender oil. Uh, check up with her on her Instagram or mine, but we'll see you soon, guys. Gonna crush these burgers. We had a great time hanging out with you. Mad love and peace.